Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Smear Node. And uh, this is going to be a super short one. So I'm going to take the time to remind everybody to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got thousands and thousands of views, but we're only sitting at like uh, 74, 7,500 uh, subscribers. So let's get that up there. So moving on, jumping into Fusion, we've got some media in here and uh, we're going to add a Smear Node. So... I'm going to hit shift space, S-M-E-A-R for smear node. And let's go ahead and bring that up. And what the smear node does is it simulates motion or uh, motion blur. And it does an okay job, but it's not too realistic. So let's go ahead and zoom in here on uh, one of these little graphic things here. So we can uh, find one that's kind of by itself. So it adds these little extra blurs to kind of simulate a motion blur. And how it works is we have frames either side. So if I knock this down to two, what it's going to do is it's going to give us two frames on either side. So you can see there's one, there's two, and there actually is two more. But uh, we need to move this up so we're actually seeing more frames. So you can see two on either side. And uh, let's get to the end. Let's find one with a uh, little blurb on it. There we go. And let's zoom in so we can see that. And this may be hard to see in YouTube compression, but there are two little blurs on either side of this motion. So frames either side, if I move it up to three, you can see now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Now we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's what the frames either side is going to do. It's going to add or reduce the amount of blurring on either side of the frame. To control your coloring or what is actually getting blurred, we have two uh, little sliders here, one for Luma, one for Chroma. The Luma slider, if we reduce it, that means only darker things are going to be introduced into the blur. And if we have it up, the uh, lighter things are going to be introduced into the blur. So you can see if I move this all the way down, we can't see any of our blurring of our uh, illuminated channels there. But as I raise it, you can see more. And same with our chroma. If I lower it, only darker saturated uh, pixels are going to be introduced. And if I raise it, higher saturated pixels are going to be introduced. So now we have motion blur on either side. So that is the smear node. I will see you in the next note breakdown.